Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to know your data set better using column quality, distribution, and column profile, uh, which is really helpful to build a data analytics solution going forward. Let's see how it works. One of the essentials of uh, doing a analytic solution regardless of the technology is to know your data for example knowing what is the maximum value in this column what is the minimum value how many uh, let's say unique values you've got uh, what is their average how is their distribution do you have any errors or uh, empty values or anything like that now there are uh, a number of features in power query that can help you to achieve that uh, to do this in Power BI Desktop, first you have to go to the Power Query Editor, which you can do that in the Home tab, Transform Data, that will get you to the Power Query Editor. Here is the Power Query Editor you are looking at. Now, Power Query Editor will give you this little bar at the top, uh, right under the column headers, which is quite helpful to understand some information. For example, if I hover on this bar, it tells me some information about uh, how many valid uh, values I have, how many empty values I have. You see in this column I have more than 99% of the values empty and uh, the errors. Uh, this is quite helpful, but you have to hover on each of these to understand it. Um, you can instead go to the View tab in Power Query and enable the column quality. This will give you the same information, but on all columns, much easier to, to see instead of hovering on it and seeing that information, you can see it here. Now, uh, there is one important thing about this is that the data quality or profiling, all of these information is based on the preview set of rows in Power BI. It's not based on the entire data set. This is just to make it faster uh, for the Power Query development for you. Uh, when you look at this here at the bottom, this is not the default, I changed it, but the default option is this. The default is that column profiling is based on the top 1000 rows. You can obviously change it by clicking on here and choosing based on the entire data set. However, be careful when you use this because if you choose that option and if you have table with millions of records, this might take a while after every transformation to collect those profiling information. Uh, so there's a performance aspect of it as well. Uh, I would always recommend changing it back to top 1000 as, as soon as uh, you know your data better. Now, another thing in addition to column quality is the column distribution. Column distribution will give you a distribution of values. For example, you like to know in a column such as for example, total children, uh, how many unique values we have, how is the distribution on that? You can click on column distribution and it gives you this little chart on top of every uh, column which shows you the distribution. So it shows me that uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six values for the total children, which is perhaps from zero to five or something like that. Uh, and for every other columns. For example, for a, a column such as email address, it shows me that I have all of these values unique, which is a good column to be candidated as a key column for this table. Now, uh, understanding this data more in details is not really easy using this little chart. That is why you can use column profile. Column profile is actually having those two other options included in itself. So if you use column profile, you have the count of values. This is, again, uh, the top thousand that is why it is counted thousand errors and empty so this is what you get already from uh, column quality uh, you get some other information distinct values minimum maximum average number of uh, even values odd values and here is the um, value distribution but it's much easier to read because now here you can see that for example we have more uh, with no children in our data set and less with five children. So it is quite helpful to, to look into this column profiling information. Column profiling information 
is of course a developer only feature all of these three options this is for developer it will not impact the performance of your report however um, if you are doing a lot of transformation if you have many data rows enabling these three would slow down the performance while you are in power query editor so i recommend you to just enable it once you know the data better then you can disable it and continue your work in the power query online you also have these options inside data flow power bi data flow or power bi platform data flows you can go to the view tab data view you will have all of these options over there as well which you can enable it and it gives you column quality distribution uh, the column profiling all of these informations uh, these informations are developer only however if you ever want to build a power bi report with this information because you may say well my users would also get benefit from this information why shouldn't i enable it you can do that i have explained it in another method how to uh, fetch the error information like build the exception report in another video and also in another blog and video i explained how to bring this column profiling information into power bi Go and check them out uh, using the link down in the description below in general column profiling is a really key um, thing to do in any data analytics project these features can help you to do that i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi thank you